Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Q&A session where we interview professionals in the mining industry to get an idea of what careers and opportunities are out there. My name is Mario Munoz, and I'm the Recruitment Outreach Coordinator for the Lowell Institute for Mineral Resources. Our guest today is Mara Erhoy, who is a geological engineer at Freeport McLaren. Mara earned uh, her BS in mining engineering with an emphasis in geomechanics from the University of Arizona in 2016. Since then, she's worked in New Mexico in an open pit mine and now works in the Phoenix office for the underground planning group that focuses on strategic planning in the underground complexes in Indonesia. Mara, you and I were classmates and actually graduated in the same year. So it's really nice to see you and have you. Uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks, Mario. It's it's awesome seeing you and chatting with you too. Thank you. So let's run, let's jump right to it. So, please tell me about the work that you do. What does a geotechnical engineer do? So a geotechnical engineer is a bit like a civil engineer, but instead of working with a lot of known materials like like steel and concrete, you're designing things with rock. So in underground mining, uh, you'll open up big excavations like the size of your house um, and you need to design uh, concrete and steel support that goes into those excavations to keep them open and safe for people to work in for as long as the mine needs it. Um, and in surface mining, um, an open pit could be like a kilometer or more across and a kilometer deep and geotechnical engineers work to design that pit in such a way that that giant hole in the ground is, is stable for as long as it needs to be. Similar to, to a little bit of what you were already talking about, uh, you chose geomechanics as the emphasis area when, when you were pursuing your degree. Uh, in, your work, in your own words, how would you describe the geomechanics track? You know, kind of what does it allow you to do? Uh, the geomechanics track um, focuses a bit more on geology than some of the other ones, like structural geology is a requirement. Um, you also take soil mechanics uh, with the civil engineering group. Um, and the classes that you miss out on are things like mineral processing, or at least it was when, when I was there. Um, and that does set you up to um, kind of work with those materials more so than um, a more generic degree like like mine operations where you you're, you're more suited for for mine planning um this really sets you up to to do rock mechanics even soil mechanics i'm, I'm sure some people make that jump and start doing work with tailings dams and, and and things like that um which could maybe end up being more of a technical track can you describe a typical work day so uh, my day to day in the office is pretty regular. Our afternoons are filled with calls to the mine site because that's the morning of the following day for them. Um, we uh, work on ground support designs. We look at the long range mine plans and we manage consultant projects. Um, but we get to travel to site uh, for two weeks every three months. Um, and it's a crazy trip. It takes almost two days to get there, four flights, and if you're lucky, you get a helicopter ride to the, uh, to the town. Um, and those trips are just packed with underground visits um, and as much face-to-face -face time as you can get with all the people that you, you work with when you're back in the office. Yeah, that sounds exciting to be able to travel and, and um, you know, be able to work on a project from, from, from here uh, designing it and then be able to see how it's being implemented in a, uh, another country like Indonesia, right? Yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, you get to focus maybe a little more on things that would typically be consulting jobs, but you get to do it specifically for a single mine. So you, you get to see those projects through to the end. You're not just a consultant who drops off a report um, and then that's, that's the end of your, of your time there. So. No, I, I love this job. It's, it's fantastic. For sure. So can you tell us a little bit more about your career path? Uh, what, what were you doing in the open pit mine uh, in, in New Mexico and, and you know, now working in such a central location like Phoenix? What's that like as well? Sure. So, so being at the pit and working in an operational environment um, is probably a big difference to the office work but also working open pit versus underground is very different. So uh, in New Mexico, I was a site geotechnical engineer, and I 
think I probably spent half my time driving around in a pickup truck looking for cracks. Um, and yeah, and it's, it's much more day to day working with operations, making your, sure you're providing the information they need to safely and successfully mine for that day or shift or the next few weeks. Um, in Phoenix, it, it is much more long term. So these are very large underground uh, operations and um, require immense planning on the front end of um, how do we how do we start these mines? How do we ramp up these mines? How do we concurrently develop and get the production we need um, to to make them as profitable as they can be? Um, and it, uh, it's, it's a little more strategic. It's a little more um, traditional. Well, I shouldn't say traditional, but, but engineering work, right? Like cranking through equations, cranking through Excel, um, and, and coming up with a deliverable um, more so than, than working at an operating mine. And how did you become interested in the field in the first place? How, what got you into mining? Well, I, I got into mining because um, I'm from Colorado. So I, I toured Colorado School of Mines and I was just looking for engineering degrees. And I sat in on one of the uh, kind of intro to mining, you know, sessions that their department was running. And yeah, I realized that in mining, you, you get to be outside and travel the world and blow stuff up. And that sounded perfect. Uh, yeah, and my time at U of A was phenomenal. Um, continued to love it. And uh, yeah, my, I, I really enjoyed my geology classes and that's what kind of drove me more into geotech. I ended up doing an internship with Freeport in their geotech group and I, I loved it. So yeah, I just um, continued to, to work with them and it's, it's been fantastic. Kind of touching on that, uh, you know, what, what do you think were some of the highlights of your uh, undergraduate career here at the U of A? Uh, some of the highlights from my undergrad were uh, some of the classes I mentioned earlier. I loved uh, my geology classes, specifically structural geology. Um, the geology group at or department at U of A is, is excellent. Um, I actually had a really good soil mechanics class as well. Um, and then the opportunities that we got um, within the mining department, I, I got to um, I got to do some research. Um, a lot of people had the opportunity, well, actually, I, <laughs> I had the opportunity my senior year uh, to uh, intern um, with one of the many companies in Tucson um, during school, which really gives you some hands-on experience, which is great. Um, and just the, the community of the department's fantastic. Um, they're really keyed into to the mining industry and um, yeah, sets you up with, with Great friends, great peers, and great opportunities. So what aspect of your job do you find most rewarding? So for me, the most rewarding part uh, is working with people from all over the world every day. Uh, I'm frequently the only American in the room, and it's fantastic to, to hear everyone's stories and their experiences. Um, mining such a global industry that people, uh, especially who, who grew up somewhere and work in that particular part of the mining industry uh, and then travel around. They, they have completely unique mining perspectives and experiences and it, it really kind of ex expands your, your, your perspective. What advice would you have for someone that's interested in joining this field? For someone that's thinking about going into mining engineering, um, my advice is that mining is a very small community and it may seem like it's a one dimensional industry. The, within it, there's so many different career paths that you could choose. Um, you could uh, work in operations, managing people during a shift day in, day out. Uh, you can work designing and developing all sorts of mining equipment like trucks and loaders and crushers. Um, you could go into a, a consultancy or work in sales for a company. Um, you can travel uh, all over the world to different mine sites, um, or you could live abroad as an expat, or do fly in, fly out out of some remote mine site, and you can live anywhere. Um, you could go to law school and do mining law. You could go to business school and work in finance or venture capital. 
Um, I, I think that flexibility is a big advantage of studying mining engineering. Even if you're not 100% sure about exactly what you want to do, I, I think there's going to be something for you in the mining industry and most likely a job for you uh, as well when you graduate. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Mara, uh, those are all the questions I have for you. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thanks a bunch, Mario. Again, it was, it was great seeing you and catching up and uh, being a part of this.